Simone de Beauvoir's seminal work, The Second Sex, stands as a cornerstone in feminist philosophy, unraveling the intricate web of societal constructs that confine and subjugate women. Written in the mid-20th century, this profound analysis delves deep into the existential, psychological, and societal implications of being a woman in a world largely shaped by patriarchal norms. De Beauvoir dismantles the conventional notions of femininity prevalent in her time. She challenges the perceived otherness of women, arguing that womanhood is not an inherent essence but a socially constructed identity imposed upon them. Through her existentialist lens, she posits that women are not born, but rather made into the second sex through a process of societal indoctrination. This conceptualization asserts that women are relegated to a subordinate position in relation to men, their existence defined by the male-dominated societal structures. Central to de Beauvoir's analysis is the notion of the other. She delineates how women have historically been positioned as the other in contrast to men, establishing an asymmetrical power dynamic where men are the norm, the self, while women are defined in relation to men. This paradigm relegates women to an inferior status, denying them agency in subjectivity. Moreover, de Beauvoir dissects the multifaceted oppression faced by women. She scrutinizes various facets of this oppression, ranging from legal and economic inequalities to the internalization of societal norms that perpetuate women's subjugation. By highlighting the pervasive nature of this oppression, she urges a collective awakening to challenge and dismantle these ingrained structures. De Beauvoir's exploration of women's lived experiences is poignant and incisive. She emphasizes the significance of acknowledging the diversity within womanhood, recognizing that women are not a monolithic entity but a heterogeneous group with varied experiences shaped by intersecting factors like race, class, and sexuality. Her call for solidarity among women transcends these differences, advocating for a united front against the overarching patriarchal system. Furthermore, the second sex critiques the institution of marriage and its role in perpetuating women's subordination. De Beauvoir argues that marriage, as traditionally defined, relegates women to the status of possessions or subordinates to men. She urges women to seek independence and self-actualization outside the confines of traditional marital roles, advocating for a renegotiation of relationships based on equality and mutual respect. In discussing motherhood, de Beauvoir offers a nuanced perspective that challenges the romanticized notion of maternal instinct. She contends that societal expectations of motherhood confine women to a role that often impedes their personal and professional aspirations. Her examination underscores the need for society to recognize and value women beyond their reproductive capacities. Ultimately, the second sex serves as a clarion call for societal transformation. De Beauvoir's profound analysis invites readers to critically examine and deconstruct the oppressive structures that confine women. Her work continues to reverberate through feminist discourse, inspiring movements aimed at achieving gender equality and dismantling the deeply ingrained biases that perpetuate women's subjugation. De Beauvoir's magnum opus remains a timeless and indispensable work, offering profound insights into the complexities of gender relations and advocating for the liberation of women from the shackles of societal constructs.